Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. This weekend, we are in the Cotswolds, staying at this picture-perfect thatched cottage, which you can see behind me. It is incredibly picturesque and quaint and charming. And I thought while we are here, I wanted to take you inside so you can take a little look around and see just how gorgeous this centuries old cottage is inside. But first, outside, we've got a glorious sunny day. There is a wraparound garden that goes all the way around the cottage, which is currently looking absolutely stunning with all of these pink tulips mixed with daffodils. A really beautiful space. There's also this really lovely outside dining area as well, which is perfect for a day like today. It's ever so warm. It's nice to be outside enjoying these gorgeous views. Right, let's head inside the cottage. So as soon as you enter, there is a lovely little porchway with cupboard here so you can hang up your coats and boots through here is the gorgeous gorgeous living room just look at this space incredibly thought through Every detail is spot on. I'm really, really loving the colour scheme that they went with in here. Very, very neutral tones. Lots of different textures within the colour palette. Lots of nice, raw, natural materials. It's really, really well done. Here's a farmhouse style table with four lovely chairs and a nice rustic bench at the back here, which you can pull out. So it can fit quite a few people around this table, which is lovely. Over here in the corner, there are some steps which open up onto the garden. So you can see the outside dining space just up there. I think it's nice to have this extra door here as well and it lets in some lovely light. Like I said, lots of natural materials, lots of wicker, lots of straw, dried flowers, ceramics, wood. I love all of the wooden items in this house and they also have a lot of old features that they've retained from the original cottage before it underwent renovation. And there's lots of exposed wooden beams. The wooden doors are amazing. I like the flagstone floor as well, which comes with underfloor heating, which is a dream. Absolute dream. And I like how the dining room opens into the lounge space. I think that opens it up rather than having smaller rooms. And that idea they have kept going with for the fireplace. I love this fireplace. Can you see? It goes through to the kitchen. There's a wall at the back, obviously, which makes sure that it's a safe space. But I really like that that goes through into the kitchen. It just opens up the space that much more. Such such thought has gone into this. Really, really, really beautiful. So here in the porch, another cupboard with hoover and cleaning supplies. The old wooden staircase, which winds its way upstairs. And in here is a dreamy, dreamy kitchen. 
I think kitchens are so hard to design, especially for a small space, but they've done it beautifully. Again, with natural materials, with texture. Here you can see where the fireplace comes through. And then, yeah, all the nice natural products there. Lots of neutral tones again. <laughs> can you see Heidi outside? Bless her. She's having a little wander around the garden. Yes, a really lovely space. All right, then let's go upstairs. I love how they have these brass bars and really nicely located to help you up the narrow winding staircase. It's a lovely, lovely touch. Again, just lots of thought have gone, has gone into this cottage. So we've got a little window here at the top, letting more light in. Here is our first bedroom, which Heidi has claimed. More neutral tones, more natural materials. Tried bunny tail grass. It's really pretty. The exposed beams in this room are really nice along with the exposed brick wall at the back there. Heidi's left her book there. The Tale of Timmy Tiptoes. Beatrix Potter. Right, from that first bedroom, we've got here a bit of storage in the hallway. So we've got our suitcases and everything in there. And through here is the bathroom, which again, for a small cottage sized bathroom, is so beautifully designed. We've got a nice sizable walk in shower, which fits two. Lovely basin with more, more brass detailing. view out of the bathroom with all the beautiful blossom. More lovely light fittings. Again, carrying on the brass theme with the fittings in there and also here in the shower with the waterfall shower. And I like how throughout the house, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, they've got these reusable glass bottles, which they fill up with their products. So downstairs, obviously soap, and in here, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. It's nice to see reusable ones. Right then, on to the final room of the house. This is the master bedroom. Wonderful exposed beams again, more delightful lampshades. I love how this one appears to be made out of some sort of paper material in the style of a flower. So in the corner, you have what would have been an old fireplace. I'm assuming this is no longer in use. And you've got a king size bed here with really gorgeous, comfy linen sheets and pillows. So yeah, just another beautifully designed space. Let me know what you guys think to the interiors of this cottage, but I love them. Absolutely love them. And even all the nice natural matting on the floor. These old wooden doors. 
lovely old latches. It's just a beauty, really, really pretty. I will leave a link below for anyone that's wanting to have a look at some photos and maybe get more information on the cottage. I think I'm the mother of this bee now. Hello, bee. I'm the mother of this bee now. He loves bees. <laughs> mother of bees. <laughs> See, the reason we had this up, we um, I got this little bee in my hand, is because, well, it was just like, uh, first of all, I was just like, I was just conveniently watching it as it was like, bzz, bzz, bzz. I noticed that it wasn't like fly flying right, so I was like, Come on with me and get in some trouble. Trouble. <laughs> Turbo Daisy. That's the new name for this Daisy. Uh, this is one, this is also one of this is one of the daisies from the lawn. From that little With a patch. bit of mango yeah. juice on it. Yeah, this is how we feed our bees now. Hmm. Mango mango um mango sorbet juice and um, a bee. Hopefully the bee will have a little uh, energy well, boost, huh? Have you found it? Oh, you found it. You found the good stuff. Oh, let me drink that mango. Yeah, he's found the good stuff. I think we just have to do this until he's nice and strong. Mm -hmm. We've just come outside for a little al fresco lunch. We've set the table up out here. Now we've got some lovely views back to the house. So we've got a little charcuterie plate, some meats that we've brought back from France with us, some roulette de man, crackers and cheese from the deli around the corner here in Chipping Camden, some olives and more little cheese uh, bites that we brought back from France, and some sourdough bread and butter. Lovely. Lovely. Right then, let's go and have a little wander around Chipping Camden. It's a really delightful town, full of independent stores, pubs, restaurants. It's a gorgeous place, so let's go and take a peek. what those baskets are on the front of this house. It almost looks as though they're designed to have hay in them for horses to eat from.
So this here is the old market hall. It was built in 1627 and it's where everybody would come to sell their wool and other local produce here at the heart of Chipping Camden. for a Georgian townhouse. I've wandered off the high street and I'm now walking down Church Street. This is the Eight Bells pub. I can't speak for the food because I haven't eaten there before, but if you want somewhere cozy for a drink, this is quite a atmospheric old place to drink. This is the deli where we got some of our snacks from from earlier. Crackers and cheese, some wine for dinner this evening. some daffodils lining the street here. This is lovely. It's back to the cottage for me now. I hope you've enjoyed that little wander around Chipping Camden. I left Peter and Heidi at the cottage doing Lego while I popped out. So I'm gonna go see how they got on and start getting dinner ready. Oh my 
goodness. That is so detailed. Look at that little swing going as well. The cat on the balcony. I just want to say wow. that these little flowers here that I just added onto the onto these plants to make it look like a big flower. So much detail. By the way, the cat's hunting that bird on the balcony. Can you show the leaves? Can I show the leaves? Yes, let's have a look at the leaves. Look at this. Oh, yeah, the swing moves, look. Mm. I did the fabulous little chains. Wow. Goodness me. This is taking yeah. hours. There's, and actually, hours. there's actually like a, a, a blue liquid looking block inside, inside the well here. Yeah. Uh, making it look like there's actually water in it. And then there's really this little detailed. bucket. There's this little bucket. Oh, yeah. The three rabbits look much happier than on the. Here. This is really cool. Alex so Peter has cooked us an amazing looking bolognese. Yum. Yum, 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 yum.